All right, man. Let's watch the fucking old block video, man. Let's learn a couple uh, things about Chicago. Uh, I say, if me they see a buck play with us, you fuck, put his body in a the truck, then we take him to the dump. And they know we play for keeps, and they know that we ain't sweep. Grab a broom, we finna sweep. Old block finna clean the streets. Boy, you better grab a heat or get put up on a tee. Put your name back R.I.P. or your name get turned to weed. In the racket, ain't no pad. Any state, we on your... No matter. Wait, Chet, is that the guy that made that song? Hey, bitch, what up? It's not him, is it? No? Okay, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. Fuck the... We ain't goofy, do that crash. We gon' spin and spin again. We gon' hit our last friends. We gon' show him we ain't playing. We gon' leave him where he stand. That's really, yeah, that's all I wanna be, is successful. Aww. Right, be goofy fast, man. Check it out. Oh, no, you give me no back. Hey, no, you Shut the fuck up. <laughs> nah, that's a crazy yeah, flick. Man, check it out. <laughs> that's a crazy <laughs> flick. Nah, he is valid. <laughs> nah, that's a tough ass flick. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, bro, that's hey, funny as hell. Hey, no, since you're you gotta throw up Oblak. How do I do that? Yeah, throw up Oblak. We're here in the uh, Parkway Gardens Housing Development in Chicago, otherwise known as Oblak. Uh, 24 building complex on the city's <laughs> south side. It's where Michelle Obama grew up. Oh my god, Michelle Obama grew up in Oblak? That is a fucking plot twist. Hey, appreciate the fucking sub, King Ryu. Thank you, man. Oh, with the gift, should I say? And it's also where drill music began around 10 years ago. This is Bostock. He's been here for a Hold on. Drill music began in Oblak? Chat, now look, man. I'm not the best rap historian, but I could have swore that shit started in the UK. Am I wrong? I, I thought UK niggas was doing this shit way longer. Am I wrong? Okay, we're gonna have to. We're gonna need a history lesson. I need some fucking music nerd or something like that to break this shit down for me. I need it. I need it. I need a music nerd to break this shit down to me. That, so UK copied Chicago. All right, I'm gonna trust you guys. A super long time, so he's gonna take us back to the very beginning where it all started. So right now you in the 44, you in one of the gutterest building in the block. This motherfucker be the last building to get cleaned up. Oh, it's a roach. See y'all in the project. See that roach? That's a baby roach. Oh my god, it's gonna get bigger. It's gonna get bigger. Smoking the roach and killing the rat. True. That was a really good song, Kodak. This be dirty as hell. This girl be dirty. I'm from this building. Yeah. Bro, I used to be one of the motherfuckers to piss in, in, in the hallway and on the Hey, outlet. chat. Hold on. I'm not going to pause that much. I, I promise I'm not going to pause that much. I just want to say, even my homes have roaches. Like, it doesn't mean the place is like... Sometimes you just near water, right? Okay, shut up. All right, my fault. I, I have pest control that comes in to make sure that they stay away. But when you move into the house, they have roaches. You're a roach, agent. Got it. You get pest control. They spray it down every month. And then the fucking roaches vanish. But until you do that, the house is going to have roaches. So I, just, I don't see roaches and think like a horrible home or poor area at all. I don't know. My mom in the bathroom on BDS, one bathroom in here. They're very I'm normal, exactly. I still oh, good the, jersey. The buttons on the elevator, I'm straight knuckles. Cause you think there might be pee on it? Spit, pee, ink. I used to do all type of shit to the elevator. I ain't taking no shit though in here. True that, true that. Come on, come on. What? Like, 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 what? Like, like, true that, true that, man. Uh, like, 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 to you like what is drill music we started the word drill with our music like, spin in the elevator is drill. crazy like how would you explain drill music to someone who doesn't know chat none of you guys are affiliated please stop repping things um, music that make you wanna count. You're in a Twitch chat at 3 p.m. None of yeah, you guys are affiliated, yeah. please. Makes sense. Alright, baby. Get on, <laughs> just on. Weird cap. So, yeah. It turned you up. It give you a weird drill. champ, right, guys? Real music is something that, I mean, in the grand scheme of things. What the fuck? 
Yo, bro, this is the exact person I was thinking about when I said music nerd. <laughs> what a surprise. You could see it as, you know, a hyper violent offshoot of trap generally that, you know, sort of like came out of a very specific area. I describe drill music as it's violent, but mainly fiction. It's like realistic fic fiction hey, music. So like, this why I shot my video, 4K Troll, shot it right here in this park. Right here where you standing that I shot it right here. The uh, the lyrics are pretty intense in that song. Grab my clock, then I grab my mask and hop out, then I blast. But he ain't like, he pulled out his strap and started shooting back. It sound like it's compact to my, I got a double back, it's finna crack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my yeah. God. But it's all entertainment, you see what I'm saying? It's all for, for like the people. Like, cause like music nowadays is all about like, controversial shit drama drama really makes money back to that breaking wow. news live from chopper to a mass shooting at least six people shot this all happening at 65th and king drive in parkway gardens so what was it like growing up in Oblock? we had to grow up we had to really grow up and grow up fast all that little boy shit went out the window everybody around this bitch got ptsd everybody wow. around this bitch saying somebody die you know what i'm saying that so is like, crazy we had a brotherhood that can nobody come between we we not let nothing happen to none of us malo couldn't even beat up od we gonna fuck malo ass up boy you better not put your hands on folks boy for them to pull a pipe out hold on and it's the same way boy you better not put your hands on folks boy for them to pull a oh when they say phone them they folks in them oh i did not know that wow pipe out hold on and it's the same way. Like, we got each other, boy. On Ogre, we ain't got no deities on BDN. Wow, I did well, not know that. What can you tell that. us about the year uh, 2011? 2011? I, I, uh, I experienced, like, my first, um, first friend get killed. Uh, my, my best friend, O.D., he died in 2011. In 2011, a Parkway Gardens resident named O.D. Perry, which Oblock's now named after, was murdered, gunned down oh. just outside the gates of Parkway Gardens. Wow. What was one of your favorite memories of you and uh, O.D.? Man, oh. Man, I got a lot of them bitches on O. <laughs> he had this crazy ass dog named 50, bro. On J Money, bro. I was scared of that motherfucker, bro. Oh, oh, uh, like, play with the dog. On key down my boy, I ain't mean, playing with that motherfucking dog, bro. Y'all tripping. Motherfucker run up on me. Ah, blah, 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 it burn. Ah, it's your bitch ass song. Oh, right after the day, I still don't play with people's dogs. I don't give a fuck if that bitch a chihuahua. Bro, get your dog for that bitch die. I'm gang. OD's murder was allegedly in retaliation for the murder of Shondale Tuka Gregory, a rival gang member who lived just a few blocks away on 63rd. You know the sad years of my life, because I had just had my first child and everything. I'm really like traumatized. Like, I ain't know if was I was supposed to crash out or fall back. And my mom used to be talking to me like, man, you got a daughter. Don't be like these niggas. Don't die. How many uh, friends do you think you've lost since then? W mom. Over 10 dead on this game. Like, Jesus. two motherfuckers a year. I swear to God. Owen Platoon and motherfucking 11. Trout and Whitey and Twill. We got LA and J Money and motherfucker died in 13. My, my crowd gone, I gotta hang with little them. I gotta hang with little them. I ain't gonna stunt. When, when, it seemed like when folks died, folks' career took off. When old passed away, folks took that shit to another level. Chief Keith and Dirt them came out. They lit this bitch up, you feel me? So it's like... Shortly after Odie's murder, a close friend of his decided to make his first song, which would serve as an O-Block anthem, to celebrate the life of Odie and this Shondale Tuka Gregory. This friend was named Keith Cozart, a.k.a. Chief Keith. I get out on my son, I get out. October 4th, 2011. This bitch get the going up. The block bust him, I just got out. I get out, I see Patone and White White. Folks got cocky as hell. I'm looking, I'm like, how the fuck y'all let OD get killed? Patone put his head down. He like, man, go take your daughter upstairs. I'm finna holler at you. I take my daughter up. I remember Inky D them came up there. Deep as hell, everybody coming eight. Happy as hell. Fat Mac and Stu get to showing out. They get to fight. Hey, hey, Fat Mac. You remember I got out of jail, you want Stu start fighting that day? Him and Stu get to fight. Hey, photo like, man, y'all showing out because folks just got out. Uh, uh, Dirk and Reese come see me. Oh, I'm, all right. I'm like, I'm feeling love like a motherfucker. I'm damn. Folks don't, folks don't come rap with me. I'm like, I fuck old guy. How the fuck old guy? You know? You no, know, they rapping with me. Boom, 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 boom. We talking all us and that bitch crying now. I'm like, damn. 
I just got out. We all crying right now. I'm like, the fuck? I'm fuck that. We ain't crying. Yeah, not we every fat here. person is ass. fucking Rod Wave. In the next two years, Chief Keef would go from a young O Block rapper to one of the most commercially successful rappers in the world with hits like I Don't Like and Hate Being Sober. Most? Oh my god! Chief Keith made it more like global. Classic. And before you knew it, white America was doing classic. the hokey pokey to murder music and unknowingly singing along to the anthems of an actual gang war playing out in real time. For a year, the conflicts of Oblock were a mystery to the general public. That was until one man came around and exposed the inner workings of- Shut, shut the fuck up. Is that who I think it is? Is that who I think it is? Yo, there is so many fucking plot twists in this fucking video. Oh my Chicago's God. getting work to the world. In 2010, 2011, I'm in college. Shut the fuck up, he got him in an interview. Hey, yo, no, this is good. This is a great video so far. This is a great video. I'm doing commentary about hip hop. I had like, you know, some hot takes about like Kanye and Drake and stuff like that at the moment. So I was kind of gaining an audience. And I remember when the drill scene popped off and I remember doing a video <laughs> on Keith and I was like, I love the music. I'm reading the comments and everyone was like, you're not telling the full story. Okay, because like I I'm going in there and I'm doing a quick video and I'm like, yo, all his ops is dead. You know what I mean? He's dissing them. It's over. You know what I mean? Like these guys, we don't even need to know their names. And everyone was like, well, no, they're not dead. And actually the guys who, who he's dissing just killed his guys. They were talking about people like wow. OJ. They were talking about like the FBG gang. Nigga, fuck T Roy and OD them dead bitches. I'm like, yo, nobody knows these people, like respectively, because they don't have a hit song. Chief Keith is going crazy with hit songs. So I made this page called The Warner Shot Rack. And I started covering basically just constant feuds that were happening. Wait, how the fuck did you gift me a sub? You can do that? Hey, fucking yo. I wasn't subbed to my own channel for this long. Oh, that's my old user. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's mine. This your boy DJ Academics. Now, information has come to my attention. Now, y'all know I call Lil Reese the Chirac Grim Reaper. Well, pretty much because every time you look through his mentions, you see a bunch of dead niggas. CBS Chicago. Thanks, Boo. Appreciate it. Boy, aka Lil Nick from Six Hunna, was shot multiple times and then he was brought to a hospital where he was pronounced dead by the Cook County Medical Examiner. At least he died. Wait, his channel name was literally called The Warren Chirac? I started watching academics in like 2016, 2017. So I didn't even know. I had no clue. Wow. Oh, he was really documenting this shit then. Wow. And doing what he loved best. Someone actually told me that these guys actually keep score on killing and coonery within Chirac. The most valuable coon is probably a legit award. The one Chirac never stops, the coonery never fucking ends. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. <laughs> His Warren Chirac series went viral, and the fans were now aware of the ongoing Chicago gang war, particularly as a it pertained to the fucking rappers fucking yo, that's like hundreds of videos. Oh. How many people do you think have died in the Warren Chirac? Thousands. This past weekend, at least 52 people were shot, eight of them killed. In the following years, between 2011 and 2020, 5,518 people were murdered in Chicago. To the amusement of self-proclaimed Chiracologists, who created a Reddit page, which now has over 175,000 members. Right, never no, y'all niggas corny goofball ass niggas, Reddit. bro. How little, how bored do you have to be with your life? Before you become a Chiracologist, you're not from there. Why the fuck are you making it your business? Yeah, bro. Oh, man, that is crazy. There's no way. There's no. Hey, thank you, Ryu, for gifting me a Khalifa, man. Hopefully, you. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. Yeah, bro. You are not from this area. Why are you making it your business? A hundred thousand plus people? Come on. That's fucking weird. I don't give a fuck, bro. That's weird. That is weird. Yo, that's weird, chat. And, and the crazy part is, I know 95% of these people are from the fucking suburbs where this shit does not happen in their area.
So they have the free time to become a Chiracologist because they're fucking bored. That is crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> that is crazy. I did. This is such a crazy Reddit right here. This is a fucking crazy subreddit. Reddit page, which now has over 175,000. Ironic? I know I'm from the fucking suburbs of Toronto, bitch. That's why I've never been an onologist of any, any hood in any country ever. It's not my business. I didn't make it my business. I'd never seen a place where life was valued less than Chicago. To this day, I've never been to Chicago because of that. I feel like things bad everywhere. Things just bad in Chicago because like this shit came like a movie to people. Like when it first got famous, people started like, it was like we was characters. Like damn, like you got me look like an assassin. Drilling itself is an energy that once people latch onto that shit and you become invested in the story. It's like a soundtrack to a movie and, and it sounds bad to say, but it's a soundtrack to a movie that you're watching live. You know, I'm looking at this, not like on some voyeuristic like, yo, Oh shit, this is like entertaining. I'm like horrified. What I try to do is satire. Thanks, Hopefully, King. Are you appreciate People could look at them like, that looks ridiculous. These dudes, like, they're disgusting, right? People took it and they ran with it. Appreciate the gift. Everything gifty. I thought that people would be like, yo, this is some sick shit they loved. We have a bloodthirsty audience, especially in music. The more people die, when someone gets locked really up, their streams are through the roof. Music sales, <laughs> going through the roof. Trust me. I was a driving force in getting some of these guys, other than Keith, eyes and attention and ears to some of the, their stuff. Did you feel responsible for like inflaming gang tension on the streets inflaming. by covering things? <laughs> Hell no. But l let me tell you this, accountability is hard to take, man. They say, yo, well, you gave people nicknames. And when you gave someone a nickname of Grim Reaper, some other guy is going to start killing more to try to get that nickname. And I'm like, I don't believe I caused any murder. But if you, if my videos, because they were popular, instigated any two parties, I'll take blame for that. But motherfucker, if you picked up the gun, I'm not taking blame for what you did, right? True. When I started coming to War in Chirac, niggas was dying every day already. I was on Twitter watching people bleed out. I was like, I can't believe this is, like people getting shot like dogs. Bleeding down. Thanks Everybody for the gift, Anonymous. Bro, stop being fucking lame behind you. Then you go on social media and everybody's saying, I'm smoking on the pack. So you got to take blame for, for you doing that. The parents got to take blame for not being in the kids' lives. The cops got to take blame for them basically just like throwing their hands up in the air and saying, let everybody kill each other. Like these motherfuckers, that, like everybody true. wants an easy scapegoat. Listen. That's true. Hey, what he just said right there, Chad? Very true, man. Very fucking true. Very true. Stop acting like a bitch ass nigga and just fight, bro. Leave the pipes alone, fight. Fight, 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 fight. Oh, it's so fucked up now. It's like a 12 year old just said, ah, oh, pop you. So not a 12 year old. You're like, bro, just fight him. Why do you think that happens? Because yeah, motherfucker think it's about being a shooter or a killer. Music played a part. Okay. But music won 100% why everybody doing this. It's your fucking mama and your fucking daddy. You get what I'm saying? It's your mama and your daddy, bro. It's not, it usually be your environment, but it's your mom and your fucking dick about how you getting raised, blood. Like, raise your fucking kids right. Oh, oh. I don't think it's drill music at all, I promise you. If, if we was to take drill music away right now, and it'd be regular hip hop, it's still gonna be the same type of violence. Everybody wants to be, everybody wanna be a character now for the internet. On social media, beefing, making threats, making crazy comments, like going on live, you know, it's like, you know, waving the gun in the fucking camera. Um, you know, it's like it, it's 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 almost like a competition to see who can push it the furthest. I wonder and get what Anthony Fantano thinks the best drill song is. Chat, what's the best drill song? That's a tough one. Most attention, because you know th there is a fair amount of clout chasing, and you know that is a toxic element. In that way, do you think that drill <laughs> is like bad for what society? The fuck? No, because the thing is like the the realities of what is being discussed in that music which was there before the music was there. The music is just an expression of that. It's just a reaction to that. Like when you're talking about inner city gun violence, you're talking about poverty. You're talking about poor education systems. You're talking about like low access to food. You're talking about low economic opportunities. Those are the kinds of solutions that you would need to apply to that situation. If you could go back in time, would you make War in Chirac again? You know, you know I've grown, was it appropriate? Probably wouldn't do that again. I wouldn't do it again just because um, I think we're dealing with mental illness in Chicago. 
Oh. And when you see people are kids, these people who are doing murders like Ronald number nine. Are you out of your mind? Is that a fucking javelin for Modern Warfare 2? What am I looking at? How do you even obtain this weapon? This had to have been imported like straight from Russia. They don't make that shit in this country. What is that? Like, I don't, I don't even know what weapon this is. What do you do with that? Blow up a building? Shoot down a UAV? <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck, chat. Yo. Oh, my God, bro. I just had a fucking wave of fucking shit hit my head. I remember Lupe Fiasco had beef with this guy over this photo. Did he not? Am I bugging? Is my memory fucking that bad? I'm pretty sure Lupe had beef with this guy over this photo. And back then, Lupe was my favorite artist, so if he got in drama, I was like, who the fuck is, what's going on? What's this photo? Oh, shit. I think they pieced it up because they had like a song together or something like that. But what a flick. This is, I bet IG was bumping the day, <laughs> the day he dropped this photo. IG had to have been through the roof. <laughs> that is crazy. W prop. Yeah. And was like 17, <laughs> doing drills and all that type of shit. It's easy to be outraged and also say, damn, how could you guys take a life so easily? But also you got to think about the cycle Same of mental prestige. issues that they're having, the trauma that they're suppressing. After the success of the War in Chirac series, Academics Formula was replicated hundreds of times, creating a concentrated YouTube algorithm that turned- Hey, chat, chat. How many of you guys watch these videos though? Be honest. Hundreds of times. Create Hip hop daily. I I'm not gonna lie. I watched some of the Trap Low Ross videos. I'm being honest. Okay, I watched some of them. I got I got nosy. I wouldn't call myself an ologist of anything, but I watched a couple myself. Concentrated YouTube algorithm that turned gang drama into an online mega industry. One of the channels in this algorithm is called No Jumper, which is quite different from the war in Chirac, but nonetheless features many interviews with gang related rappers. Do you even know about gang shit when you first moved to Florida? When did you actually become a five five crib? You are widely known to be associated with the Hoovers. Some of the dudes who got caught up for this murder are like actual rappers who have videos out with, with many, many so thousands of views. Again, like you say <laughs> a lot of the stories are hypothetical, but in this, this one, you actually mentioned that a specific rapper from Chicago called a girl six times while you were hanging out with her. Right, it just ran. You see what I'm saying? The shit okay. just be going, man, you know. So I went on the podcast and spoke to the host, Adam22, about oh, wow. the ethics of producing monetized gang content. Do you think drill music is uh, bad for society? Yeah, definitely. How come? Because people are in gangs killing each other and making songs about it and making it sound super cool. And even me as like a 30 year old fucking white man, I listen to it and I think that it sounds kind of cool and I, I struggle with that. But definitely I think it's probably, as much as I like listen to it, it's probably gotta be a net negative for society. What do y'all think, chat? What do y'all think? Just, just the romanticization of violence in general. Do you think you help make it look cool? Mm, I don't know. I feel like when they're on a beat with a fucking 808 going crazy and they're able to like rhyme and make less sense that that probably is like when it sounds coolest. Cause they don't really talk about that in interviews, right? I mean, most of like the, all the Chicago like gang members or whatever, it's like the amount of like street shit you're gonna be able to get them to talk about in an interview is pretty minimal in comparison to the stuff that they're essentially saying in their songs. It just must be crazy. Cause like you talk to so many people who like, have died recently. Back up. Like you're you're like yeah, the last person to, to interview um, FBG Cash. Right there. His name's on the wall. Yeah. Mm. Do you feel any responsibility for like inflaming like gang beef by having so many gang members use this platform to promote themselves? Okay. No, because I mean, I feel like this is a hip hop platform that long ago has kind of been clear to me that that's more or less the the gist of what we're doing you know like there was a long time where i didn't do any street shit you know in the beginning it was mostly like soundcloud type stuff and more like bro, hold on, we're not we're gonna get on chat are we gonna get on adam's ass like he's the problem hey bro adam is a fucking podcaster if you watch any of his fucking podcasts you know he's gonna ask you questions about drama you've been in you can't go to the fucking podcast and expect him to not bring up some of the drama you've been in so if your drama is in the streets, then he's going to ask you about it. If your drama is some YouTuber beef, he's going to ask you about it. What? I'm not, I'm not saying he should ask you about it, but I'm saying you know he's going to ask you before you go. I'm on guard. 
you know internet shit we've gone more in that direction and like a lot of like it's also the direction rap's gone in it's it's tough to get away from the fact that the fans just want what they want give us more ads you know as a content creator you kind of have to follow Got the it. incentives to a certain extent <laughs> it's just been taken to the point where the fans like want this shit to be real they don't want to hear you say i'll i'll shoot you if you, if you come near me they want to hear you say so-and-so from the other side got killed because he fucked with me. Like, the fans are really drawn to that kind of immersion, I guess. Whenever you grew up here, did you guys spend a lot of time in other parts of Chicago? Like, did you ever go, like, downtown or to other areas, or were you mostly here? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I spent a lot of years inside this gate. Have you been to, uh, like, a Cubs game or anything? No. You guys want to go to the White Sox game with us? Yeah, yeah, yeah we go. Right, cool. uh, oh White Sox for White Sox! What's fucking White Sox? Go Sox! Fuck the Cubs, fuck the Orioles, fuck the Yankees, White Sox. But it's so wholesome. Thoughts on the all-time 2K YouTuber tier list? Uh... I, I, I don't give a fuck about tier lists, to be honest with y'all niggas, man. It's, it's all one person's opinion, you feel me? You know, and it's like, hey, man, you can't get mad at a nigga's opinion. Uh, I saw I saw the tier list, though. I saw a few people making some tier lists. Uh, I don't get involved in the tier list talk, me personally. It just depends on who you watch growing up, most of the time. White Sox! 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 They represent the South Side pride, that blue collar man. Like, the South Side's way better than the North Side. Never I don't wear condoms unless you have to. <laughs> What's the situation in which you'd have to use a condom? Every time. Never. Never. <laughs> I'm married, What's so I haven't actually used condoms in 15 years. <laughs> Raw dog stats for Jack Carlo. You! Jack Someone had to say. A Carlo only. Sorry. Boss Top. Carlo. What do you think about condoms? What I think about condoms? I got six kids right there. Raw dog, all day long. Jack Carlo is not my type. What makes White Sox fans different from other fans? Sometimes they wear white socks, but not on a regular basis. Loyalty. Why? Why? Are you guys from Chicago? No. No? no? Exactly. You're... What do you think your most controversial- Nigga, Answer the question. The fuck is you- Exactly. Trying to be smart. Edgar, you see the camera, you see the mic, answer the question. Don't butt in and not give no fucking insight, bitch. Opinion is. Like, what do you mean, my bad? For example, I believe that aliens have visited the United States of America. Nice. So do I. Yeah. I also believe that the earth is not, it's not round. Oh, man. Throw your fucking tomatoes, Chad. In the face of overwhelming evidence, people like him still exist. Jeez Louise. I also believe that the government is hiding out of ship from us. I also believe that the government has taken over our, you know, our country. The government has taken over your country. Hey, Anonymous, thank you for the fucking gift, bucko. The government always had control of the country. That's what makes them the fucking government. I want to jump, like, obviously into, like, the beanbag chair. But, like... God, I don't give a fuck how drunk you are. Something this stupid can't come out your mouth, bro. And like, you think the earth is flat for real? Hey, King Ryu, appreciate the gift to aliens. All the aliens watching, man. Say something in the chat right, man. If you're an alien, you're watching right now, say, ooh. That's the circular thing on the keyboard. I'm bored. Sorry, chat. <laughs> Niggas is actually doing it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sick. You think the earth's flat? I mean, <laughs> we have ideology, right? We have ideas. So, like, who who are we to judge? White Sox hamburgers, Comiskey dog, right here. We got two patties, that Mike two Tyson? scoops of cheddar cheese, and we put the pico and dagaya on top. Say it ain't so, Joe. Hamburger, 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 hamburger. What's your biggest fear in the world? Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. How do you feel about the rapper Yeet? He's all right. Can you name can, can you name five songs? Does this seat even have like a view of the stadium? Where is it? Turban. Mad about that. Sorry about that. Money is so big. And uh, what's it called? What's it called? Shit. What's your favorite thing about Yeet? It's the music. What would you say if Yeet was here right now? I don't know. What would you say if you could be digitally connected with Yeet in some form? Shut up. Come on, Yeet. Enter the goddamn phone. God damn it. 
Hell, we love love you. Crap, we got we made it. We actually Jeez. made it here, guys. Yeah. Fucking drink to that. We are like the epitome of sperm. Yeah. We are sperm at its best. You're a philosopher. Chat, what are your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts? This is good at <laughs> Don't say what you're about to say, Chad. We're all thinking it, but you don't have to say it, all right? I, I, I can you don't have to say it. You don't have to say it. Yeah. You don't have to say it. You guys want to hear my whole philosophy? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah. You guys oh, watching this? That was ill-advised. This, your, this is my philosophy. You just saw it happen. I didn't know that guy. I didn't. I I could not associate with him of any particle of my own being, but I let him go through. Is anyone in this fucking stadium sober? They're all drunk as fuck. Because he's a, fuck. he's a fellow human being, you know. So his agenda, you got to consider that. And he wanted to go through. It it wasn't um like what? Uh, you know like. Negatively imper imperative to me, so I let him through. What are you? Doing? That's what I think we should all do. You know, try to fucking make it better for everybody. Nigga, all if you, you can. You just moved out the different way. Different team might be the same team in the long run. We don't know. You would have. Maybe it. different teams right now could end up being on the same team, but what is he? You know, right saying? now. What is he saying? He's not on my team because I don't know who the hell he is. But we're both at the Sox game, so I guess we're not on the same team in that sense. Bro, bro, why are y'all humming that? He moved out of the way of a guy trying to get to his seat, and then... <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> no, that's a crazy speech, given all that he did. That's such a crazy speech, dog. <laughs> okay. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really pushed out of the door. Wow, that was an abrupt end. Jeez Louise, what a fucking great video.